Hey, my friends, welcome back. Let's talk about cubitons. You can take a branch uh, off of a tree in your yard. For example, like yesterday I was trimming a tree and you can break it down and make cubitons. Uh, you can wrap it with cordage. Uh, you could put a series of ranger bands. You could uh, sand them down and paint them or wrap them with textured uh, tape. Uh, you could just keep them plain. Uh, you can stain them. You can do a lot with them. You can drill holes in them and put lanyards or ways to attach it to a key ring. But if you don't have a tree uh, to make your cubaton, um, you can definitely go to a hardware store and get some hardwood uh, dowel rods. Just some dowel rods. And you can cut them down to the size you wish. Most people typically range between a desired length of four and a half to six and a half inches and between three fourths of an inch uh, up to an inch and a quarter. Uh, that's just kind of what I've seen over the over time talking to people. Um, in terms of other materials, you can um, get PVC pipe, like three fourths to one inch PVC pipe and cut them to the length you want. Now on the ends though, you're going to have to put one of those caps so you're going to have to cap off each end of the PVC cubiton. Now, another option would be to, um, to just use found objects around the home. Uh, for example, I know the people who have cut down their uh, broomsticks, you know, an old broom that broke. Uh, the handle is still somewhat usable, uh, but they have uh, nothing to attach it to. So they cut it down and made a series of cubitons. You can buy these uh, pre-made though, you know, made out of metal, uh, wood, and plastic, but there's something about making your own self-defense tool. It can be a very intimate thing. Uh, you can uh, customize it. You can round off the edges like this. You can make the, the striking point more narrow so you have uh, more damage when you actually use it. Uh, you can contour it so it actually fits, for example, uh, your thumb. And like in this one, for example, it really uh, just kind of fits in. And you can do whatever you want. You can carve in uh, your initials. You can, um, uh, once again, uh, just customize it until your heart's content. But I just wanted to talk about this. Uh, this was free. You know, this just came from my yard. I had the cordage just laying around, a ranger band sitting around. And sometimes you can just kind of put things together. Now, is this an ideal self-defense tool? Um, in a last-ditch type of scenario, it's better than nothing. Uh, this would probably be in the same range of maybe as a knife. Um, now, a knife can be a lot more deadly and lethal, if you will. But uh, in terms of being close and personal with your attacker, that's kind of the same thing. You wouldn't really want to go this, this route in the first means of self-defense. You'd want to keep distance from your attacker. So pepper spray, uh, a collapsible baton uh, would be probably the, the first things that I would deploy. But if someone is already, you know, in your personal space and you don't ha have any enough time to actually react with pepper spray or a baton, maybe this is all that you could use. You know, you keep this in your pocket or clipped or attached to some, you know, means to your keys. And you can use this uh, to uh, get someone to... Uh, get out of your space or to at least um, buy yourself time to get away. Uh, a lot of people do use these as handles uh, to flail their keys in an attacker's face. Uh, so it, it is an option. Um, so coupons, uh, don't overlook it. Uh, if you have any ways that you make yours, feel free to share it in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching.